The Qibla Arabic direction, also transliterated as Qibla, 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 Qibla or Qibla, is the direction that should be faced when a Muslim prays during Salat Arabic. Salat. It is fixed as the direction of the Kaaba in the Hijazi city of Mecca. Most mosques contain a wall niche that indicates the Qibla, which is known as a Mirab Arabic. Most multifaith prayer rooms will also contain a qibla, although usually less standardized in appearance than one would find within a mosque. Muslims all praying towards the same point is traditionally considered to symbolize the unity of the Ummah Arabic, Ummah t the community Muslims worldwide, under the Sharia Arabic, Sharia t law of God. The qibla also has importance beyond salah, and plays a part in various ceremonies. The head of an animal that is slaughtered using halal Arabic, halal allowed methods is usually aligned with the qibla. After death, Muslims are usually buried with the body at right angles to the qibla and the face turned right towards the direction of the qibla. Thus, archaeology can indicate an Islamic necropolis, if no other signs are present. History According to the traditional Muslim view, the Qibla in the Islamic prophet Muhammad's time was originally the noble sanctuary in the Shami city of Jerusalem, similar to Judaism. This Qibla was used for over 13 years, from 610 CE until 623 CE. Seventeen months after Muhammad's 622 CE arrival in Medina, the date is given as of February 624 the Qibla became oriented towards the Kaaba in Mecca. According to traditional accounts from Muhammad's companions, the change happened very suddenly during the noon prayer in Medina, in a mosque now known as Masjid al Qiblatain Arabic, Ma Sgd al Mosque of the Two Qiblas. Muhammad was leading the prayer when he received revelations from God instructing him to take the Kaaba as the Qibla, literally, turn then thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque. According to the traditional accounts contained in the Hadith and Sirah, Muhammad, who had been facing Jerusalem, upon receiving this revelation, immediately turned around to face Mecca, and those praying behind him also did so. Some have claimed that the Quran does not identify or allude to Jerusalem as being the first Qibla, and that the practice of facing Jerusalem is only mentioned in traditional biographies of Muhammad, or Hadith collections. There is also disagreement as to when the practice started and for how long it lasted. Some sources say the Jerusalem Qibla was used for a period of between 16 and 18 months. The Jewish custom of facing Jerusalem for prayer may have influenced the Muslim Qibla. Others surmise that the use of Jerusalem as the direction of prayer was to either induce the Jews of Medina to convert to Islam or to win over their hearts. When relations with the Jews soured, Muhammad changed the Qibla towards Mecca. Another reason given why the Qibla was changed is that Jews viewed the use of Jerusalem as signaling the Muslims' intention of joining their religion. It was changed to discredit this assumption. Others state that it was changed because Muhammad was angered by that city or its people, and not because of his conflict with the Jews. In medieval times, Muslims traveling abroad used an astrolabe to find the Qibla. Determinations. From whencesoever thou startest forth, turn thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque, that is indeed the truth from the Lord. And Allah is not unmindful of what ye do. So from whencesoever thou startest forth, turn thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque, and wheresoever ye are, turn your face thither, that there be no ground of dispute against you among the people, except those of them that are bent on wickedness, so fear them not, but fear me, and that I may complete my favours on you, and ye may consent to be guided. It is not righteousness that ye turn your faces towards east or west, but it is righteousness to believe in Allah and the last day, and the angels, and the book, and the messengers, to spend of your substance, out of love for him, for your kin, for orphans, for the needy, for the wayfarer, for those who ask, and for the ransom of slaves, to be steadfast in prayer, and practice regular charity, to fulfill the contracts which ye have made, and to be firm and patient, in pain or suffering and adversity, and throughout all periods of panic. Such are the people of truth, the Allah fearing. The two moments in each year when the sun is directly overhead the Kaaba, the sun will indicate the direction of Mecca in all countries where it is visible. This happens on May 27 or May 28 at 9.18 Greenwich Mean Time and on July 15 or July 16 at 9.27 Greenwich Mean Time. Likewise there are two moments in each year when the sun is directly over the antipodes of the Kaaba. 
This happens on January 12 or January 13 at 21.29 Greenwich Mean Time and on November 28 at 21.09 Greenwich Mean Time. On those dates, the direction of shadows in any sunlit place will point directly away from the Qibla. Because the Earth is almost a sphere, this is almost the same as saying that the Qibla from a place is the direction in which a bird would start flying in order to get to the Kaaba by the shortest possible way. The antipodes of the Kaaba is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, in remote southern French Polynesia, some 35 miles 56 km northeast of Temetangi Atoll and 85 miles 137 km west-northwest of Moruroa Atoll. In contrast to the regular custom, there is a mosque which does not face the Qibla. It is Cheriman Juma Masjid in the South Indian state of Kerala. Unlike other mosques in the South Indian state, it faces eastwards, instead of westwards to Mecca. <inaudible> Islamic mathematics Determining the direction of the Qibla was a central issue and a constant generator of a scientific environment during the Islamic Golden Age, one that required both mathematics and observation. Muslim scientists who contributed works to determine the Qibla direction from any point on the Earth's surface were, Al-Khawarizmi, Habish al-Hasib al-Marwazi, al-Narizi, al-Batani, Abu al-Wafa Buzjani, Ibn Yunus, al-Sija, Abu Nasr Mansur, Ibn al-Haytham, al-Biruni, Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, Ibn al-Shatir, and al-Khalili, among others, the Yemeni Sultan al-Malik al-Ashraf described the use of the compass as a Qibla indicator in the 13th century. In a treatise about astrolabes and sundials, Al-Ashraf includes several paragraphs on the construction of a compass bowl He then uses the compass to determine the north point, the meridian and the Qibla. This is the first mention of a compass in a medieval Islamic scientific text and its earliest known use as a Qibla indicator, although Al-Ashraf did not claim to be the first to use it for this purpose. North American interpretations. In recent years, Muslims from North America have used two rules to determine the direction of the Qibla. According to spherical calculations, a Muslim praying from Anchorage, Alaska would pray almost due north if determining the Qibla. However, when one looks at the world on most Mercator map projections, Mecca appears to be southwest of Anchorage. The shortest rum line, line of constant bearing from most points in North America to Mecca will point toward the southeast, but the distance to Mecca along this route on the actual surface of the Earth is longer than the Great Circle route. There are Muslim communities in North America who face toward the northeast, following the Great Circle route, and there are Muslim communities in North America who face toward the southeast according to traditional early Islamic methods including sighting the stars, sun, etc. Most Qibla calculating programs see list below use the Great Circle method and place the Qibla northeast from most points in North America. From space In April 2006, Malaysian National Space Agency sponsored a conference of scientists and religious scholars to address the issue of how the Qibla should be determined when one is in orbit. The conference concluded that the astronaut should determine the location of the Qibla, according to their capability. There have already been several Muslim astronauts, among them the very first being Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, the latest being the first Muslim woman in space Anushe Ansari, and the Malaysian Ankasawan astronaut Sheikh Muzaffar Shukur. Grand Ayatollah Ali al Sistani has stated that one should face the direction of the Earth. This is part of the Malaysian document which recommends that the Qibla should be based on what is possible for the astronaut, and can be prioritized this way 1. The Kaaba 2. The projection of Kaaba 3. The Earth 4. Wherever See also Qibla al Qudsiya Black Stone Craig retroazimuthal projection Holy site Holiest sites in Islam Mizra, the Jewish equivalent of the Qibla Qibla, the Baha'i equivalent Praying towards Mecca in space References Further reading 
King, David. 2005. The Sacred Geography of Islam. In Cozier, Toon, Bergmans, Luke. Mathematics and the Divine: A Historical Study. First ed. Amsterdam: Elsevier Science. pp. 161 to 178. ISBN 0-444-50328-5. King, David A. World Maps for Finding the Direction and Distance to Mecca, Innovation and Tradition in Islamic Science. Islamic Philosophy, Theology, and Science. Brill Academic Publishers. ISBN 90-04-11367-3. External links. Full information of the Kaaba The City of Jerusalem in Islam Al about.com Second Year of the Hijra at al-islam.org Alul Bayt Digital Islamic Library Project Qibla in North America, argues that the Qibla is based on a rum-line path Determining the Sacred Direction of Islam Dennis Rogel, an extension of Al-Khalili's Qibla Table to the Entire World, 2008 Topic. Online tools Qibla.us Accurate Qibla calculator gives highly accurate Qibla and distance to Mecca using the WGS84 ellipsoid Qibla direction Equibla.com, worldwide Qibla direction including documents and Qibla formula Qibla direction finder Qibla direction Com uses Google Maps and Google Earth to draw a line between your location and Mecca, automatically gives the prayer times for your location. Find Qibla using Rum Line and Great Circle, also compute magnetic declination. Qibla Finder widget for confabulator. Type your address to see a map showing your Qibla direction. Qibla Finder. <laughs>